and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Winter Ezreal. Again, playing something a little different, a little out of my comfort zone uh, with Ezreal. Never done that well with Ezreal decks, but I, I like playing all sorts of different stuff and, and some of y'all have been asking about Ezreal decks. So found this one on Mobilytics, just going through the, the Mobilytics stats page. Um, this was on there. Uh, so I didn't build this deck myself, but it looks it looks pretty interesting. Um, basically, what we have here is uh, a deck. You know, we're using uh, combining the Piltover removal with Ezreal with Freljord because Freljord has some really good targets. You have some Frostbite cards with Brittle Steel and Harsh Winds that are both pretty effective, and then you also have some units that get to target Ice Veil Archer, um, and I guess it's just Ice Veil Archer. <laughs> yeah, I was I was thinking that we were going to be playing. Uh, my bad. I thought that uh, we would have the Averas and Marksman, but no, we don't have that card, so never mind. Um, but then besides that, we have uh, Braum and Sejuani as our other champions. Braum just does a really good job of slowing the game down, and that's exactly what you want in an Ezreal deck, is you want the game slowed down. You want the game to go as long as possible, um, and Braum does a good job of just making the game go longer because it's harder to uh, kill your opponent through Braum, and so that's, that's a good card here. We have Averroes and Trapper, um, and Kindly Tavern Keeper as our three mana cards. Um, you know, Kindly Tavern Keeper helping us stay alive for the Ezreal, and Averroes and Trapper just being an awesome card. Getting those enraged Yetis being good blockers as well. Um, you know, a bunch of progress days for the card advantage. This deck looks just pretty interesting, so I wanted to give it a try. So we're going to go play five games over in ranked, um, and see how we do. Looks like we're seven seven wins away from Master, so we're we're almost there. We're almost there. We'll probably get there on this Sunday for Rank Up Sunday, because we're gonna be playing a Gauntlet later on, and uh, the, we got the new Gauntlet Singleton. We're gonna be playing that later on. It's not open yet, and then tomorrow I'll be spending a good amount of time on the Gauntlet as well. Cool. I'm I'm kind of glad we redrew Chump Wump. I like how Chumpwump can trade with um, with Bacillus Grider, even though we take three damage. It's just you know, it does have that ability, so I do like that. I think Vi could be a better fit than Sejuani Brom. Certainly possible. Yeah, we'll we'll have to kind of play it and see. Certainly possible. Not sure. Like I like I said, I did. I myself didn't build this deck. Um, it was on the Mobilitics stats page and looked cool. Looked like a new and uh, a different way to use Braum as well. Hey, Arkalud. Let's get a good look at you. Look what you did. I should let the damage happen first and then do this. Gotcha, you're gonna be more expensive now again. War Mason, reporting for duty. Alright. So we just traded our gotcha for their Noxion Fervor and Crimson Disciple and took three damage. It's a good trade. Wow, how are they not attacking? I guess they don't want me to draw a card. Hmm. 
it's tempting just to play the progress day, but I don't want to just play progress day and then they play um, a couple of large threats. And then I don't have anything for them. Okay, okay. Not bad. Just keep redrawing Ezreal. Jump Womp, great here, blocking Elise. Really glad they played the Legion Grenadier first. Okay. Got the win. GG. The Heimerdinger Teemo deck. Heimerdinger Teemo has been around for months. Like, that's. I've played that for months. Um. Yeah, like, I've, I've played Heimer Teemo for months, but the one. The recent Heimer Teemo we played. Um. Uh, let's see, Heimer Puff Caps. When was that? Heimer Puff Caps was that was like we played a gauntlet deck, so we played it like last Saturday or something for in the gauntlet. Right there. Yeah, I've, first time I played that deck was before Bilgewater came out. First time I played a Heimer Teemo deck. Uh, let's see, Ezreal, Braum, Sejuani. Wait, that's what I'm doing. Wait, what are we? We're playing against Vi Heimerdinger. Okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, okay, those are gonna go. Sorry. What was this Heimer Puff Cap deck out? 519, that one. Here's another one from 519, or May 20th. That was. I would not say I'm any kind of innovator for playing a Heimer Dinger Teemo deck. That's a very common combination of cards put together. Champions. I could see them like blocking using Twin Disciplines or a Barrier. And then we'll have probably use thermo, we'll probably use thermogenic beam to kill that thing afterwards if they do that. Okay, they didn't. Still going to use thermogenic beam to try to kill this because that is a big threat. Um, we talked about it. This solitary monk should probably be a three-three when you combine when you compare it to everything else. Is there a single three-power elusive that costs under five mana? It costs four or less mana. Is there... Is that a thing? Is there a... Elusive that has three power that costs four or less mana? Like, it very well could be. I'm just not sure. Yeah, there's... 
there's the four the four three has four power. Is there any that has th that have three power? So yeah, there yeah there's there's none that have three power, which means that, that thing should have three power, not four. Like I don't know why it just skips to four when everything else is two power. And then yeah, once you get to five mana, you can start having you know the, then there's some larger ones. Yeah, leveled up Fizz. Drew a bunch of cards. Got a full hand. Imminently logical. They are imminently logical. My Ezreal's at 2 out of 8. They can still play one more spell and turn that into one power to kill. Okay, they did not though. So they could do that to kill um, the Ice Veil Archer. All right, that gives me five now. So next turn we have eight mana. So if I go Sejuani, I'm looking at three mana. So they discard Stand United, so that's probably the, the card they got for free. Count as a target? It does, good. That gives me six. Static shock can give me eight. Yeah, Silent Shadow Shadow Seer, that that's what yeah, that's definitely a that's a three power elusive, but that one doesn't really count because it's ephemeral, but I suppose that's that's a five power elusive. Eight. Feel pretty good about us winning this. Just got to got to level up this Ezreal and then play it, then play some burst speed stuff and kill them. It's kind of the key right now, making sure they don't gain a whole lot of life. Uh, you know, like I need to need to have like these harsh wins, make sure they don't gain a lot of life with Vi. My my plan this turn is probably Harsh Winds and Static Shock. Like we're probably just doing those two things. Um. I 
I have 12 mana, so I could go Mystic Shot, Heimerdinger, plus Static Shock, and try to kill Heimerdinger that way, and then I would still have... If they use protection or anything, then I'd still have Harsh Winds available. Mm. Just don't really need to kill Heimerdinger. I'd rather have this Mystic Shot go upstairs. Oh, I guess all their things are going to have the, the second point of health now. That's kind of annoying. Mystic shot them. <clears throat> they are at six. And I just untap, and now we win. We have enough. The drawing that Brittle Steel is good too. We have enough burst speed to kill them. They need health potion, which I haven't really seen health potion in, in my opponent's deck. But that's what they need is health potion. GG's. Easy. Like my name. Hey, what's up, Nick? Yeah, good stream yesterday. Nick Makes Plays is, is another really fun streamer to watch. Plays a lot of different stuff, just like I do. Um, and is uh, always talking with the chat. Lots of energy. Definitely go check out Nick Makes Plays stream. Everybody in chat. I don't know if this if there's like a command thing that works. I don't know if that works. Let's see if I can do that. Nick Makes Plays. About to be. Oh, there we go. There's there's the Twitch link. About to be Twitch's newest partner. All right, Braum and Nivea. Probably good matchup having Ez Ezreal combo kill against a Braum and Nivea deck. Probably a good matchup. We don't need Ezreal right away though, and I don't know about this Rummage. We'll get rid of the Rummage as well. Static Shock isn't really doing stuff, but it, it's just like two targets for Ezreal and draws a card. But I don't know, maybe I should be mulliganing the Static Shock. Oh, 100%. 100% newest. Be the newest partner real soon. Alright, good. Glad they have Omen Hawk. That's something you don't hear very often. You're glad they have Omen Hawk. Ugh. That thing's more annoying. Wish that was a 2 1. Now I'm not so glad they have Omen Hawk. But let's start the Ezreal level up. That's a it's a great card against me. That takes away, you know, like you know, that just basically adds another one to the Ezreal level up that I need. They draw two cards. That is pretty great. If they have Braum, I, I didn't want to cast the Rogetic Beam because then I couldn't kill a Braum. I wanted to have, you know, at least five mana to kill Braum. Nice, Alfredo. <laughs> glad glad you're liking Freljord's Flash. I, I'll convince Nick one of these days. He's, he's been playing the Shadow Isles with the Harrowing. As y'all know, I don't like that much at all compared to... Freljord. 
with Omen Hawk and Fear of the North. We'll have we'll show Nick the uh, the light one of these days. One thing is mirror matches are a lot easier with the Freljord deck. Like you're you're really he heavily favored because Harrowing has absolutely no text in the mirror. It's way too slow. And Fury of the North and Owen Hawk are amazing in the mirror. Oh, uh, let's see. What do I want to do with that? I guess we're going to do this. Hey, Mr. Sid. Welcome back. Nothing escapes my watch. So we're at three out of eight. And, like, these, these are probably going to trade eventually. But I just don't need to have that eventually happen right now. You know, I don't need them drawing these extra cards. Alright, that's kind of a lot of damage. We'll have Sejuani keep that thing from attacking because I want to block Kindly Tavern Keeper. Um, I guess they're going to go Fury of the North, aren't they? Yeah, I guess they're... Oh, man. Fury of the North's kind of a problem. So I'm blocking over here. I don't really want them to draw a card either. Blocking here. Unless we block here and have Harsh Winds available for Fury of the North. Where are we at? Four out of eight. Yeah, Gauntlet is open in EU. It's not open in US quite yet. I think it's like another hour before it'll be open. Uh, let's see. What are we going to do? I guess I... Like, Harsh Winds is kind of my best play, so I guess we just want to force them to... Um, What do you make for Singleton? Uh, I'll show you the, the Battle Scars deck that, we're, that I made that we're going to be playing up here later. Uh, it's basically just Noxus, Noxus Freljord. I mean, I think you can go like Shadow Isles. Uh, PNZ is going to have some good stuff. Hmm. Decided to go Noxus Freljord. I casting... I guess I'm casting a draw three. So we're five out of eight. So we'll level up Ezreal this next turn with Harsh Winds plus Brittle Steel. They have had like their entire <laughs> lower part of their deck. Alright, maybe that was... Maybe that was too greedy by me um, not casting the Harsh Winds first. I'm just worried about Fury. You know, like, that's just how good Fury of the North is. You know, like, it's just... It's hard to cast the Harsh Winds early because of Fury of the North. Six out of eight. This will be seven. I have another glimpse beyond. Oh, Vile Feast. Yeah, I guess so. 
<laughs> yeah, not that's true. Like we didn't have the best of hands, having just all Ezreal's harsh winds progress days. We had multiple of all those guards. That's not that's not ideal. That's true. Their their hand was pretty good with um, a lot of their low cost stuff. That's how it goes sometimes. We're not out of it yet, though. Wait, did it not create two? Oh, I don't have room for two? Hmm. Finally seven wins in that gauntlet. Good job. See you, gotcha. We each died, then found hope. Oh, that makes things worse. I was hoping they were going to go straight to combat. Can't beat Fury of the North. Just priced into casting both harsh winds. Kindler was rough if they have, you know, if they have, you know, with that rekindler, if they also have fury, I'm dead. Okay, good. No fury. Okay, we got a real shot. We got a real shot. So that's 4, 8, 10, 12, 14, 17. But that requires 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana, and I have 10 mana. I have 17 damage, but it requires too much mana. And I can't cast Progress Day because these Ezreals cost three mana. So if I want to replay another Ezreal. No way. Don't blink. I, miss you. I don't. I, I wish I could just Progress Day this turn. I also wish I would have got another mushroom cloud from that thing. I mean, I just have to just go for it, you know. Like that's, I, I don't really have much options here. We can't really beat hardly anything. I just have to go for stuff. Includes tapping out. 
wanted to do that. Wanted to get them to draw another card to try to. I wanted to give them all those pop caps first and then give them another card to draw after that. Close. All right, two and one. GG's. Yeah, I said, I said GG. The, the play I did, <clears throat> the biggest play that would have helped out would have been casting the Harsh Winds earlier, like whenever we went down to two when we were at like seven. Uh, that would have been that would have been really helpful. I was scared of Fury of the North, but that would have been a lot more helpful if I could have done that at that point. I would have had to leveled up Ezreal a little earlier. Could have started playing those other Ezreals a little earlier. That was the play I needed to do. Hecarim Thresh. Well, that card's gone. Chrome Thresh with Ionia. Do I want Static Shock? I guess so. We'll keep all of these. See what happens. Oh yeah, this is yeah. I guess yeah. You're right. That's that's what we're playing against. That's what we we actually just lost to this deck a little bit ago. Lucian Fury. Yeah, th with the with that turn three combo, Dark Water. Uh, Scourge, Deathmark. Yeah, that's what they're doing. And against this deck, I, I wish I would have mulliganed the... I, I should have mulliganed this Ice Veil Archer, and even the Chump Womp I don't really like. Could have mulliganed all this stuff. <laughs> it's gonna be another... another Rekindler deck. And we'll go uh, double level up with these Static Shocks. I get, get two triggers this time. Next turn, two triggers again. I guess I could have done that during combat. I would have taken one less damage. Because then we wouldn't have had the spider attack me. That's probably what I was supposed to do. I do like killing this stuff before a Thresh comes down. The order rewards its faithful. Gonna keep thermogenic beam for like Hecarim and Thresh and big things like that. Hey Lucho, GG's. Thanks for joining the stream. What do I think about Braum in the format? Oh, I, I like Braum quite a bit. I think Braum uh, is real good against the aggressive decks. Um, yeah, so I, I like Braum a lot. I was surprised how much they upgraded Braum. I was kind of expecting more of a, uh, you know, like just like adding a power, but adding a power and also making the 3-3, three, three, pretty big changes there. All right, I'll let that happen. I don't really need that 3-3 round. It's fine with me. I like having Thresh have less health. We're at four out of eight for Ezreal. There's not, I don't have a lot of incentive for killing Thresh because of, like, because of Rekindler. But I guess we still do it. I think it's better than playing Chump Womp and Rage Yeti. It's probably better to go Sejuani. Yeah, it's... 
<laughs> it's weird how different that card is now than what it was just a little bit ago. Um, so I wouldn't have been surprised if they would have changed one of those things, but changing them both really powered that card up. They have Miss Call also. That's lucky. They would have blocked to the Thresh, I would have used Thermogenic Beam to finish it off, and that would have been 6 out of 8 for Ezreal. We're at 5 still. To, I need to get this Ezreal to level up, don't I? I'm not doing a very good job of that. Four for conquest. No, I'm really not doing a very good job of that. So yeah, so we're at 5 out of 8 right now for Ezreal. Plan, my, basically, my plan right now is progress day. Find uh, some cheaper removal spells. Do they need our help? I don't know, though. I don't know. Maybe I should be like casting the Harsh Winds earlier and the Icefill Archer and just get this thing leveled up and then... As early as possible. So I'm at nine cards. I can still draw another one. is the box. You. Yeah, we could do Thermogenic Beam Blast. I basically have been, like, the reason why you kind of have been wanting to save mana and be able to have extra mana. That's, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um... And also Thermogenic Beam kind of wanted to have for, like, Hecarim, but, you know, with Hecarim attacking for a whole bunch.
This gives me six out of eight, so one harsh winds levels up Ezreal. That's a huge bummer. Now now my Thermogenic Beam doesn't kill that thing. I guess I should have played one mana Ice Veil Archer, not two. Alright, well this turn's gonna be crazy. Thankfully they can only have six attackers, so it's not gonna be that bad. If I play this, we're looking at three, six, eight cards in hand. So then that puts me down to seven, and then two of those put me back up to nine. Okay, so we're, we want to go harsh winds here. That gets me to that gets me to level up. I'm gonna play the chump wump, get two clouds. And next turn, um, we'll have a whole bunch of stuff. Play Ezreal, play a whole bunch of stuff. That's the, that's the plan. Try to do 20 damage. 20 is probably going to be too difficult. He's probably going to be too difficult. We'll see how much we can do. Let's do two, four, six, eight, ten. That's four mana, 12, I could do 12. Is it better to just proc, no, it's probably not better to just proc this day. I'm so good, I surprised myself. Time for a true display of skill. So do 12 damage. Yeah, like they're gonna just do this, then they're gonna do harrowing next turn. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. It's like that's ten, and then I'd have two random cards with a rummage. Depends on what we get with rummage, whether or not we could kill them. Like if we got like Mystic Shot and something else. It's probably safest just to go Progress Day. And just try to find another Ez cheap Ezreal. Oh no! Oh I did not I did not consider that. I did not Oh no. I did not consider that. Dang. No, I think having one Sejuani is better than having... Uh, Brom. Oh man, I, did, I didn't count the cards in hand. Oh, this is just a bad game. Oh, was the cheap Ezreal. That was just a bad game by me.
like, I just need to cast the Brittle Steel, right? Like, I just cast that zero mana Brittle Steel first, and then do that, and then, yeah, then we would have had our cheap Ezreal. And then, yeah, they go Harrowing, I go Ezreal, and, uh, you know, like, they're at four less life, like, they're at 13, and we could have probably killed them. Like, that that probably could have been a win if I would have just cast the Brittle Steel first. Dang. Yeah, I was I was just trying I was just so focused on how to do the 17 damage, I just lost track of how many cards we had in hand. Uh do I want to keep both static shocks? I wanna keep both. It's a lot of four mana cards. Hey, welcome back, Jump Rep. A lot of four mana cards. All right, so playing the Ice Veil Archer. I guess I can I can just do that next turn too. I don't think they'll go straight to combat. They'll probably play something else, and then we Ice Veil Archer that something else, and then I Static Shock these things in combat. There's the something else. Frostbite that. Because, uh, of course, I'd much rather block Crimson Disciple, right? Like, if this is going to trade with one of these two, I want it to trade with Crimson Disciple, not trade with House Spider. So we Frostbite the House Spider. Therefore, make them attack with Crimson Disciple. Yeah, so the, the likely card that they're playing for Demacia, like, maybe they have Relentless Pursuit. That could be what they got going on. Yeah, maybe it's Warchefs. Fleet Feather Tracker. Right Steel Protector. I mean, there's a lot of good Demacia cards. Single combat. For the Empire. Mm, that's unfortunate. The few for the men. My shield is my footlock. Have fun. <laughs> it is easy. Looks like we're going to be playing Gotcha. Never mind. We will Thermogenic Beam that thing. Definitely glad no transfusion. And this will be a lot of damage. Um, not blocking Legion Grenadier. We can try to keep that thing at bay with Harsh Winds. Potentially. That's a lot of damage. It's a good draw. Trying to get as much damage in as we can. Brittle Steel will check Legion Grenadier. Oh, I can't wait. Keep that thing from doing damage to me. <laughs> My axe is ready. <clears throat> 
be fine. Fine-ish. Fine-ish. I gotta block there. I can't block this precious pet. I should have just frostbitten that thing. Alright, that's fine. This is risky going down to four. Um, but that, that thing was going to be difficult to check for the rest of the game anyway. I do have, like, I have another Harsh Winds to take out these two again. So next turn nine mana, and so I need I need six for harsh winds, and I want to have I want to have gotcha available as well. So I won't play chump womp. We'll just play this. So Juani's only at two out of five. Yeah, not not quite there. If they can't kill me here, I likely just kill them anyway. I don't think we need to play the Chump Lump. We'll just have this available and I need gotcha available in case. Okay. To say in case their last card was another Imperial Demolitionist. Now this is game anyway, so now we'll just go Progress Day. That's one burst. This is two bursts. Three burst. Four burst. That was close. They didn't quite get there. Man, that was close. GG's. Alright. So another... Another win. So 3-2. Man, those losses. Like, this... This deck's not super easy to play. Like, Ezreal's not super easy to play. I I messed up that, that game number four. I think I could have won that game number four against the Harrowing deck. Um, probably couldn't win game number three, our first loss. Probably couldn't win that one. Um, but I didn't make the, the perfect plays, but probably couldn't win that one. Um, but yeah, game number four with the Harrowing. Uh, man, I just miscounted my hand. Um but yeah, so that's that's a pretty fun deck to play, though. Uh, you know, if you if this is your your kind of thing, you like Ezreal. Uh, this this one felt pretty good. Definitely love Harsh Winds. 
like having harsh winds brittle steel having those kind of cards uh super powerful Braum does a good job of slowing the game down i like the one sejuani and the sejuani also getting the target for ezreal like that's pretty cool uh that that was really nice um and yeah so there we go so that's that's winter ezreal all right those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there feel free to leave those comments as well but anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video